Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, and here's what's coming up on today's lambing vlog. No, 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 you. Then you put your legs through, just like you're putting on a jumper. Aye. What's happened? Aye, disaster. No, it's stuck. She needs help. A fine specimen of a Scotch meal. <laughs> Bad starts. We do a lot of bad starts here at the sheep game. This girl has lambed yesterday afternoon stroke evening. She's not even got that big a teats. Like, like she, I would just say she's milky. But the lambs have not latched on. We come this morning. One's dead. One's very hungry, and she, she loves them. Just go really wide, Marissa. Stay, get her loads of space. And now we're trying to convince her to jump into this trailer rather than have to chase her and catch her, but. She does love them. The lamb's shouting her. Give her loads of space. Let her come back and get a sniff. Maybe Meg on the bike doesn't help, but lie down. Come on, lassie. This is part of the reason we got rid of all the older ewes last year, was just bad bags making the outdoor job kind of difficult. If we could get her just to calm down and sniff a lamb, we could maybe get that lamb in the trailer. Oh, she's not going to do it. I took the buggy home last night and didn't take my jacket, so being punished this morning by how cold it is. Definitely must have froze last night, which wouldn't help these wee lambs either. Tell you, Meg. Come by. Come by. Hey. Oh, she's mental. No, 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 you... Not again. Oh, my God. They're so clever, though, aren't they? Like, folk that say sheep are stupid. She, I knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. And she still beat me to it. Okay, she's wandered back through of her own volition. So I got all these lambs mixed up. If we could single her out, it'd be great. Got her now, she's calm, she's calm. I've got her. I've got her. Two hungry lambs and bags of milk. It's heartbreaking. So it's just I mean the reality is it's it's stupid lambs, if we were to put it bluntly. There's no reason for them to be hungry. Our, our teats aren't even that big. Very frustrating. Meg is happy though. Celebration rolls. She loves that. She's up to no good. Does she need a hand? No. Thinking about it. Mm, she's maybe just sleeping right on her side. That's probably more like the truth. I'm just getting excited. I'm like, oh, is that one? Is that one? No, not that I, I actually don't want to lamb any sheep. I just know it makes much better content. I actually love how this lambing's going. Sheep are just working away themselves. It's amazing. For me, this is the best part of the farming year, without a doubt. Mornings like this, you're using lambs looking well. It does get better though. When the lambs get bigger and we have more of them, you feed the mums and the lambs all play together. That is probably the best thing in farming. Of course you'll get to see it. It's actually probably the reason I fed them so long last year. It's because I just enjoyed it so much. <laughs> Here's a hungry lamb. What's the story there, Marissa? Grab a hold of that, see what number it is. 29. 29. Found the mum. There's no reason why she sh the lamb should be hungry. Which makes me concerned about her milk situation. And there it is. Reunited with mum and getting a sook. Tails wagging, love to see it. So we got about a litre and a half colostrum off of that girl with a big bag. She's got perfect, lovely teats, lovely bag of milk, but for a reason those silly little lambs didn't get on it. We've tubed the one that survived and we're gonna skin the other one so that she's got two because she's so much milk. But we're not the only ones skinning the lamb this morning. Vicky's had a disaster as well this morning. Are you good gimmer, chief eight gimmer standing over a dead lamb. So that one's gonna need skinned. Ours needs skinned. That's farming. 
I mean, I'm recording this uh, skinning, but there's a good chance I, I won't use it, to be perfectly honest with you. We have our skin. I filmed the skinning, but then I just thought it was too brutal, really, to... You know, I'm all about showing life and death in real life, but, like, I know as wee kids watch this and stuff, and seeing me skin the lamb, what do you get out of it? Nothing. Unless you're really sick. Let me know in the comments if you are. Have a skin, let's find a lamb. I have a triplet here, born last night. I think we'll just lift one of them off. I am conscious though that, well, they're, they're quite strong lambs, but because she's in the shed now, we'll be able to make sure they're sucking those teats. This one's keen, so let's lift this. Good job. Vicky's, Vicky's got her one done. T tidy job. That's okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's okay, it's only be for a day or two. Yeah, it'll be fine. See how that goes. Okay, so let's just start with a little rub of the head just to make sure we get some sense on there. I'm just gonna use some of the inside of this, it's a bit moister. If moisture was a word, this is where it would apply. I know we lamb, it's not what you wanted today, but it seems to be what's happening. I am making this tricky, try to do it standing up so we can see on the camera, but head through, like that. Then you put your legs through, just like you're putting on a jumper. Leg through, leg through, wee lamb. Oh, how cool do you look? Almost there, and then leg holes. If I lift the wee lamb up for you to see. Little leg holes here. Now the way I've done it, I've kept this, it's almost like a pair of pants. This, the the centre bit is still intact. So that gets popped through first, and then through the leg. It's okay, lamb. The way I do it is definitely a slower way of uh, skinning but it means that you keep these leg sleeves intact, which I just think is a better fit and better for what we're trying to achieve and getting the scent for the you. The faster way is you just weak the skin off and cut a couple of holes for the legs. If I had a lot to do, that would be the way to do it. But there we go. Lamb is well covered, as you can see. Back end's covered, which is important because when it goes in for a souk, we want it to be similar. Good. You hungry little lamb? Right, come on, try this. I want it to go straight in. Ideally, the lamb would go in for a wee soup, but it is a newborn, a newish lamb, that, and that could be my downfall here. Logic would tell me to use a stronger lamb, bigger, stronger lamb. She's big tits, lots of milk. It just means another pet lamb to train onto the bottle, which we don't really want. Loads of pet lambs. Other issue we have here is because I've just lifted it off its mum, it's shouting for its mum, whereas a pet wouldn't do that. A stronger pet wouldn't do that. I may regret this. I'm quite embarrassed by the lack of action that I'm giving you guys. Even worse, Lizzie and Deborah took the ewes and lambs out today just for a change of scenery. We're looking after the shed and Lizzie's got a sheep to lamb outside. I'm coming up to four days without lambing a sheep outside. She goes round once and she has some action. I need to get her taking a camera next time. Aye. What's happened? Aye, disaster. Oh, go on. Uh, maybe she, she might have been missed this morning, maybe. Right. No. Thinking about it. Mm, she's maybe just sleeping right on her side. That's probably more like the truth. Uh, she's been pressing pretty hard and the, and the legs are right up under its chin, so um, both are dead now. So that's another one coming back to get more lambs on her. You cannot win them all, and as I always say, there is loads of examples in the shed of, you know, lambed herself. Well, I don't know if she lambed herself, but good lambs, good lambs, good lambs. Not a good lamb, that's Vicky's one we skinned this morning. Well, it's a good lamb, but it's not a good story. Good lambs, good lambs, good lambs, good lambs everywhere here. Um, especially good, these blackies are still here with their Suffolk lambs. I'll need to run them back myself or else they'll be here forever. We'll do that today. Lizzie's back with Angus. 
Tabor actually videos me lambing the sheep for you. Oh, so we have something for the vlog? Yeah. Oh, well, that's yeah. good. That's good. Well, right, so be Liz, you, no, please. I actually said on the video we need to start giving you the camera. So here's Lizzie's video footage. bit she was pushing here I think it was like a big that was what I felt going in a big fluid lump mm -hmm. oh, she got that so let's go in and see if the next one could be this is coming correctly let's see I might have been too stressed in there And here is the sheep here. Ah, she is a bit sad, I think. Oh, boy, and sweet, I think that's the one I saw this morning. I was thinking she was just starting, oh, she was just starting lambing. Just coming sideways or something. It happens. How was Lizzie's lambing experience? Oh, it was good. Yeah. yeah. Do you like that outdoor lambing? I mean, it wasn't very happy, but like some sad endings, but it was fun. Nice seeing the sheep outside in a bright day like this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and an update on the fox situation. Our man's checked, hasn't seen a fox. Potentially a badger ate that lamb. And as I said, I didn't see any puncture wounds as if it was killed by a predator. So, touch wood, it was a one-off. Why has this not got a lamb? Oh, well, that's right, she's no milk. Yeah. Like, yeah, give her two. She's got yeah. heaps of milk. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on a bad run, aren't I? I'm on a bad run. What would I do with it, Lizzie? In case anybody thinks anybody's getting on it, anyone. It's all just good banter. That's what we're all about. Isn't it, Lizzie? Oh, it's all good banter. <laughs> Don't be Angus. Like, I might have made a mistake last night then, just didn't I? What was the mistake last night? I nicked his finger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lizzie was cutting his fingernails last night and nicked his finger. It happens. I think it. that's good for all mums to see. It, it happens. If it, even a mum like you can do it, no, anyone can do it. Mm. He likes the camera just the same as Jock. This mum here actually likes these lambs. This is the one that we, we brought in this morning. This lamb that was looking really poorly, doing much better. We've been having it on suckling. A couple of days getting him suckle, they'll be fine. This is one of these moments where, oh yeah, heads up. I'm like, I really, really hope that lamb's up. Because I see she's bigger one side that you. But that's because she's only got one lamb. And the lamb's absolutely fine. Bonnie, Bonnie evening. It's to be even warmer and brighter the next two days. Then rain all next week. This doesn't look good. Oh no, it's alright, it's alright. It's okay. Finally though, after four days, I'm going to lamb a sheep. She's a nice sheep. Now the tricky thing is, well it's not tricky, I'm here myself. Superhero, come here. Now, I don't think this is an emergency. I see legs, I think she would lamb it herself, but no, it's stuck. She needs help. She needs help. Come by. Oh, oh she's getting up on me. Lie down, Meg, thanks for helping. Right, lass. To be fair, I may as well hold the camera because my left hand's so useless anyway. Um, at least this way it's doing something. Right, lass. Come on, roll over. Meg, we're not finished yet. Hey. Roll over. Roll over. Oh. Right. Meg loves it. Luckily, we're in Scotland, so there's always a bunch of rushes nearby that you can attach the GoPro to. No panic here, this lamb's absolutely fine. No panic here. Mum just needs a wee tug. Don't you, Mum? 
Lamb's absolutely fine. That's what it's absolutely massive. That's what it is. Oh, you're absolutely fine, wee lamb. You're absolutely fine. You're a great wee lamb. Well, you're not a wee lamb. Oh, jeez. That's what happens when you get the umbilical cord. And now it's all over your face. You look like a vampire. Okay, here you go, Mum. We're here now, Mum. We'll take this second one out, eh? Jeez, that's a stonker, eh? She has a big... She's she's a big you. I knew as soon as I stopped, I'm like... She, she's a cracker. A fine specimen of a scotch meal. Here we go. You do the rest of the work. Here we go. Absolute nailers. That has just made my day, I can tell you. Because it's not been the most successful day. But that has made my day, lass. Here they come. Check this, because we're having the odd one without any milk. Good. Okay. Now she's a she's a really kind sheep, I can tell. She's a bit of age about her. Replacement tags throw me off a bit, but I can tell looking at her that she's uh she'll be about a four crop. Lamb's head's up already. What an end to a fine evening. Well, <laughs> I'll say that. I've just drove in this field, so we're not finished yet. You can't see in the GoPro because you're too far away, but she's licking them already. Oh I do love my mules. I do love my mules. Another beautiful set of twins, fresh out the wrapper. Mum picked a great wee sheltered spot behind the rushes. Although there's danger there. Big teat. Mm-hmm. Because that, that is the kind of thing that caught us out earlier today with that other ewing lamb, and I don't want it to happen again. Okay, so we just did a 30 minute live on YouTube, watching these lambs get a souk. And I've sat here for another 15 minutes and I've seen lamb two latch on. Lamb one's had a belly full, it's delighted. I'm happy with them both. We'll check them again in the morning. Evening round's finished, hope you enjoyed it. Finally lambed a sheep. Great in the lambing vlogs to actually do some lambing. That's us for this one. We'll see you for the next one. She's getting old. Used to just spring up there. Breaks my heart. Uh...